It's a, actually a really simple setup called a turtle fleece. This was, when you look at the fight and you study, Amanda Nunes could have knocked her out, could have TKO'd her, but instead she wanted to be nice. And it was on the scramble where she was hitting her really badly that she just paused and her opponent went for a single leg, head on the outside. It was more of a desperate move with both hands. Head on the outside, which is not very smart. So she you know, did everything we teach, right? Seatbelt grip on the side that she's on. She went over, she punched her a few times, but then as she switched her, she started connecting her triangle, right here, all the way to pierce the ankle this way. So pretty simple setup, we'll go over that one more time. Another way you can do it, she did it because she was getting punched in the face. So when you're desperate, you kind of you go for the ropes, as they say, right? Exactly. But another way you can do it, and more um, like competition grappling, I can start to hook. So my knee cups inside, and I start to hook that crucifix position. And the same thing, instead of rolling over, I get my seatbelt grip, and I start trapping. I open up the elbow. And look, I start coming in this way. So we open up, come this way, get the crucifix position, start to get the hook. A very simple, I already have this arm trapped. I could fall to this side, or I could fall to the other side and start connecting my triangle here. My calf is at the carotid and I'm trapping. If I feel like I need to angle more, I could grab, scoot up my hips, Close the triangle. I could finish here. Let's say they don't tap. Maybe he's, he's really strong, right? Then I'm gonna grab the arm, just like Amanda did, and start reaching for it this way. She even went here and then got the extension right there as well, okay? One more time. From the MMA perspective, punching, they shoot for that out, for that single leg with the head on the outside, gets the seatbelt grip, goes to one hook, and started going here. The difference is that one arm is already trapped. So then when she finally came back this way, she angled. Look at the angle already on the triangle. It's a reverse triangle. I have it cornered, I could finish here. Could grab the arm bar, trap it under the arm, and go here. And this is what Amanda did in her match, which was actually very nice. because She could have knocked her out. She could have broken her arm. Damien Mines talked about his experiences where he could you know win the fight by punches but he decides to choke them or armbar them usually choke so they just tap and there's no heavy damage on the person which is really nice mm -hmm. really nice considering people who are really good at jiu-jitsu fight at this level and are able to hang and I always probably sound like a broken record but Damien Maia is top 10 right he probably still is and he's over 40 years old like there's no way uh, if you look at study some of his matches, he just he lost to Tyrone Woodley, and Woodley was stalling. Mm -hmm. The world champion was stalling against a 40-year-old. What does that tell you about his jiu-jitsu, right? Uh, Gilbert Burns beat um, Damian Maya. Well, he should have, right? Because he's over 40, right? But his jiu-jitsu was so good, but he's just older, so his cardio is not up to par where it should be because he's older, but his jiu-jitsu made up for all that. And so if you continue to study these fights, you can see what they're doing. And it's nothing crazy. This is a reverse triangle setup. It's it's just basic jujitsu against people who get desperate and leave those holes open. So we'll study from this position. Start from a turtle. Do both options as if the person's coming around, or force the crucifix position and roll to the side. If you're not very flexible, always cup the shin angle and close it this way. Try not to grab your foot because then you can hurt yourself and to hold yourself. Okay. Any questions, guys? All right, that's it. One, two, three.